Hi there, welcome to the Three Minute Booster. I'm Grace Carter and I'm here with my friend Gabriel Petcher. And today we're talking about another productivity tool. And this one is sleep. So Gabriel, how does sleep help with productivity? First of all, sleep is super important. It's not a waste of time. It's something where you gain something. It gives your brain time to process things, to, re to regenerate things in your body, and it helps you to keep healthier, to fight off illnesses and everything, and much more. And I always like to look at the world of the animals and I think about sleep, because you can see very different patterns there. You can see most people, when we're thinking about work and productivity and sleep, we think I should sleep less, maybe. Um, because I need to work more and I need to, get, need to get stuff done. So I need to work more hours to get things done. But if you look at the world of animals, you can see very different patterns. Just the world of, of mammals, really. Just look at horses. Horses, they uh, they eat um, grass naturally. You know, they, they go through the fields if they are uh, free and outside. And so that's, that's uh, when they would need to roam the fields, the meadows for hours and hours on end. I think it's up till they are awake, uh, up to 19 hours uh, a day and just walking and eating because they need to get the energy. That's why they are up. And if that's your reality, maybe <laughs> you need to, to work more. But uh, I think probably our goal is to get into a place where that has, doesn't have to be our reality, right? Um, so, so that we can, you know, eat um, more like let's 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 switch to the other other topic in the world of animals the other animal and we all know cats you know and lions they are the king of the jungles and or the whatever and uh so they sleep they, for them it's the opposite they like sleep 19 hours a day mm -hmm. so it's it's the total opposite here because they eat very rich food and they need a lot of precision when they hunt you know they need to be very sharp and precise to get that to get their food you know as a horse you just walk anywhere and you find the food you know but if you're a lion you need to be very clever and how to, to get that so i really like this kind of analogy to see there's mm -hmm. different ways how you can live different intensities and i think sometimes when you're doing something really intense i think you should actually sleep more and so what i think what i like to think back to when i was back at uni i was studying chinese i was studying a lot putting a lot of work in there but i was also sleeping a lot I was just thinking about this uh, yesterday because I was feeling very tired yesterday. And I was like, hmm, actually, maybe taking a nap is a pretty good idea. Even, you can even take two a day if you can, if, if that structure allows that. Because when I was back at uni, I was studying from the morning when I got up until I basically couldn't do any more. And I was taking breaks in between and give my brain this kind of downtime to regenerate. So that's that's my, my, my view on sleep. Mm, I love it. And you, you did that without ever talking about how many hours and right. <laughs> sleep hygiene. So I Good. really appreciate it. Um, so everyone, um, is there a call to action? Yeah, just, just look at what's, what's your sleep like. Are you feeling refreshed in general or do you need more? Just, just, I think you already know that, you know, uh, maybe instead of, Getting more coffee, get more sleep. That would be my suggestion. Ah, there's an idea. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, like, share, and we'll be back tomorrow with more productivity tools. Take care. Bye. Bye.